Like, I don't no, mean please to cut do. you up. Easy call. I, I met Buster, and uh, and I was like, bro, you was on in Boondocks. You was on Def Jam Fight for New York. Like, you're still the same dude that I was watching as a kid, Ram a Ram. Yeah, hey, bro. And he goes full in. He didn't even say nothing. He goes, you want to ram with me? Hmm. I was like, yo, you're crazy. Did you crazy. rhyme with him? Huh? Did you rhyme with him? Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. I've been waiting on this one. Man, it is a pleasure yeah. to have you in the neighborhood, man. That Mexican OT, hey. welcome to the neighborhood, my brethren. I, I thank you for having me, man. Bro. It's a beautiful day in hey, California man. right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, man. No, but California love. No, but California love. Hey, man, let me tell you, bro. For one, I, I would have to say, man, like, I have a daughter. My daughter is 15. She'd be 16, right? Beautiful. And me and my daughter, we, we bond. And my son as well. Mm -hmm. We bond on a lot of music, right? Yes. And I think we had you booked for probably over a month. Sick. But I had been telling my daughter about you, right? Okay. Bro, my daughter's real specific on who she really F with. She wanted to miss school today wow. to come to this interview. And meet my fat ass? Yes, yeah. bro. Well, a little old me. Yeah, yeah, hey, man, real talk, man, because I'm telling you, bro, like, when I introduced her, she went down a rabbit hole. And on my mama, rest in peace, even yesterday, she bangs, bangs it throughout the house. Yeah. Sonos in her room. That's cool. So, and, and I was just hitting, I was like, baby, I was like, he's here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> but man, did you grow up, and I ask this a lot of people that come into the neighborhood, man, yeah. did, did you grow up with music in your household? Not yeah, just yeah. hip hop. I feel like, I mean, it's going to sound dumb, but I feel like maybe even, even music kind of taught me English. Right. Yeah, and I've heard that before too, though, bro. Mm -hmm. Where were you born, born? I was born in Bay City, Texas. I'm yes, from, sir. I'm from like about an hour and a half outside of Houston. Yes, sir. I'm on the countryside of Houston. I'm from like southeast. Hey, man, so did you grow up with hip hop or you just grew up with everything in your house? <clears throat> everything. Yeah, man. From, you know, Latino music, country to rap, rock music. You know what I'm saying? Because I had some cousins that was on drugs and they Mexican. And so, like, they on them drugs jamming that rock music, yeah. that three day grace, that cold, that crossfade, all that good. Then but I you got, can hear it in, in what you do as well. If you go down enough down the rabbit hole, you can mm. tell that there's a lot of music influence on you. Yeah, yeah. So, because, like, my mama's side of the family was all gangsters and, like, thugs and just hoodlums. And then my dad's side of the family, you know, they were gangsters and shit, but, like, they were they were cowboys. Like, I come from generations of cowboys. You see what I'm saying? I don't do this shit for the fucking camera. Right, right, right. So that's you all the way. Yeah. I don't Amen. do this shit because you think it's going to be cool. I do this shit because, like, that's you. I'm fucking Virgil. That's that hell all. Hey, man, so growing up with music in the household, did you always know you wanted to get into music, or was music, like, something you enjoyed, like a takeaway for you? No, nah, I really wasn't a takeaway. So I said it wasn't therapy because that shit still hurt. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just, like, it was almost like shit. Like, it, I didn't, what else was I going to do? And my cousin was rapping. My Uncle Mon was rapping. They had the studio in the closet. You know what I'm saying? And how old are you around this time when you, when you go from just listening to say, I think I could do that? I started rapping really like full on rapping when I was about five, four years old. What does a five or four year old, what 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 are you saying at that time? Can, I, can you look back at it? I was rapping the radio. I used to go see my father in prison. And I'd see him through a glass and I'd be talking to him on the phone. I'd be rapping to him through the glass in prison, you know? And uh, he'd be like, fuck that radio. I want to hear what you got to say, you know? My mother passed when I was eight years old, yeah, and that's when I wrote my first song, and I kind of just been shitting on everything since then. Um, recorded my first song when I was 10. Mm -hmm. I think the first time I ever, I mean, I've been performing my whole life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was performing when I was sitting on my, standing on my mama's bed, rapping to whatever music video was being played on 106 in Park. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And then I was performing when I was at school, and we'd be at lunch tables, and you know what I'm saying? I got the whole school and teachers watching me. Uh, I've been performing, you know what I'm saying? When I was on yeah. the blog outside and we just rap battling. You Did know you what I'm know saying? That now, now it's just thousands of people. It's not three or four or five. Did you know that it was coming, though? Did you? No. no. I, didn't, I don't even know how the fuck I'm here talking to you right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy, man? On, on my end, OT, I was like, growing up, you know, of course, you you know, things aren't in your... I, I always had music. I had my mom's at an early age. I didn't really know pops, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I always had this thing that I can get away to, and my getaway was music. Mm -hmm. In a household of eight, single parent, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. I couldn't cut out spaces. I never had my own room until I moved out and got mm -hmm. into radio. Yeah. So music was like my takeaway. I like it. And I knew at some point, man, at one point, we were homeless, right? Yep. And I remember I told my moms, I said, Mom, I said, one day I'm going to buy you a house yeah. so you'll never get evicted again, right? Yeah. And 
I always held on to that. I knew I was going to be famous in something as a kid. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And when when it got into, you know, I did everything. I rapped, I DJed, I did everything. I threw everything up against the wall and, uh, you know, and other great stuff. But everything on the entertainment side, I threw up against the wall. And I was like, man, whatever stick, that's what I'm going to be. Correct. And radio just happened to stick. I never thought about doing radio, man. I knew some dudes that did it. Yeah. They introduced me to some white dude by the name of Rick Cummins and... He asked me, I want to try radio for one night. This is my 30th year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sick as well. So going from that, man, I always knew. That's why I asked you, like, there was nothing in you that said, man, one day. Nah, my mama knew. Yeah. I was feeling, I, my mama knew before I knew. <clears throat> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I was feeling every class in the first grade, and uh, my mama, Sophie, she was like, you know, all her friends were like, Sophie, here in the first grade, he fell in every class. What the fuck going on? And she like, you know, fuck that school. My son going to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I got my first rap name, V-Man. My mama gave me that, you know? Hey, man, and that's the same one. When I told my mom, my mama, about my your mama house. passed when I was eight years old. Ain't no way she knew this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, there's there's no way, you know? So it's even crazy that she was even speaking that. And then my father, you know what I'm saying? My father was just my number one fan. So he always, every day, getting me to rap. You know what I'm saying? But even then, he wasn't making me rap because, like, oh, I want you to be better. He right. doing it because, like, I'm fucking selfish and this is my entertainment. Hey, man, did, did you know, you know how some people say, man, I had to go outside my household. I had to go outside. Like, people say, oh, Michael Jordan, I had this as an inspiration. Were your parents your first line of inspiration for you? Like, like really believed in you when possibly no one, not that no one did. That sounds very dramatic. But, like, man, I got it at home first. Correct. Yeah. Because my parents could have, I mean, don't get it twisted. Like, my dad was definitely like, you know, do your fucking schoolwork. Why are you fucking up? You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? That's Cause like, yeah, because every parent wants to see their kid do great. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and sometimes, like, the, instead of doing that rapping shit, they're like, no, go get a job. But it's only because, like, they just want their baby to be okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my my parents, you know, like, my dad, even my dad told me, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was supposed to go get a job at the plant. So I ain't going out. I'm, I, bro. I'm lazy. I can't right. cook. I don't work with other people good. I don't want to follow your fucking rules. And right now, I really don't even want to be here. You know right. what I'm saying? So, like. You mean here? No, no. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, no. Like, <laughs> not not yeah, here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't, you know, like that real life shit don't work for me. Right. And he was like, shit. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to do it either. I understand. <laughs> hey, man, was it music? If it wasn't music, what would it be? Nothing. Yeah. I'd be. I'd be. You don't know? I, yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, yeah. I do know. What? I'd be a bum. Wouldn't be doing shit. I'd probably be on drugs, like, just, because, like, man, bro, I don't have, I don't have, and like, drive to go do that other right. shit. I don't want to do that shit. Therefore, the reason why I go so hard is because I understand that if I didn't have this, I would be there. And it, not only the fact that I just enjoy doing this, but I understand what it is, and it's put me here. And like, I just, I would never want to disrespect that blessing. Hey, man, do you ever trip off of not? And it sounds crazy, like who you are. Have you ever heard your name and about to walk out on stage? You say, "Damn!" Like, do you have them aha moments? Like, man, this is me. I'm really doing this. Yeah. Sometimes, because I hated everything about myself growing up. I hated my ethnicity, my name, the way I looked. I hated my race. I hated the sound of my voice. I hated everything, but not because I was like that. I wanted to love myself, and I felt like I could have loved myself, but I was just surrounded by, like, a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And that bullshit mentally broke me, so I didn't want to believe in anything I did. My father asked me, what you want to do? And I'd be scared to fucking say the wrong thing, so I'd just be like, Shh, I don't know. Hey, you man, know if saying? I could slow you down, when you say you hated a lot, you know— what what is what does that mean to you though? Because I, I I think I understand what it means, especially on my end. But what does that mean when you say man, ethnicity, weight, whatever it may be? I didn't I didn't like anything, mm. like hated. Like there was there was a core, like the core of me was just full of hatred because I just I just hated it all. I was fucking up. I felt like I just yeah. like couldn't do anything right. I was like fuck it. I'm just fucking worthless. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I just had that mentality. I don't ever search for a fucking compliment because I know I'm a bad <laughs> motherfucker today and I know what I built myself Easy to be. Call. I don't need nobody's sympathy and I'm you know what I'm saying I'm doing what the fuck I do. Headbutting this shit head first. But it take time to get there too though, right? But it has took time for me. Yeah, to get man. There. Yeah, and and it's crazy because even when you get there, do you ever feel like, man, like, how did I get here? Do you ever doubt that you deserve yeah, it? But yeah, but it's not even that I doubt that I deserve it, but it's almost like, why? Mm -hmm. Like, why me? You know what I'm saying? I've been dealt the ugly hand of the stick my whole life. 
why now? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the what the fuck? Like, I feel like one day I'm going to wake up. Because, yeah, like, man. you know what I'm saying? Because, like, this isn't what I'm used to. Hey, man, like I, like I told you, man, I've been I've been doing radio for 30 years, right? Right. And there's still times when I think, I'm like, gonna man. I'm going to wake up. Yep. Yep. And I also say to myself, too, I say, man, I hope this feeling of how much I love it and, and like, I love this shit. Yeah. I'm like, man. I hope that this doesn't disappear. Yeah. That's why I take every picture. I sign every autograph, you know, yeah. because I love what not not just being big boy, I love people. Yeah. And sometimes I wake up and I'm like, man, like, dude, this, all this people be like, oh, I'm sorry. If and I'm like, nah, I don't run from love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I know and I tell people, I say, man, taking a picture, that ain't hard. That ain't hard times. I ain't tripping. I know what real hard times are. Yeah. And sitting up there cheesing for a picture shit. I got a million fucking poses and you're only asking for one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I can understand where you're coming from, but like, man, so, you know, Mexican like me, bro, I've always had a chip on my shoulder. I've always just like, fuck everybody. I'm not no people person. I'm really not a friendly motherfucker and I don't want to talk to nobody. But I've had to change my ways because now I'm that Mexican OT and I have to. You know, be nice and friendly yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy about that too, though, bro, is when I listen to your music, when I see the videos, everything, this is our first time really slapping hands. Yes, sir. You seem inviting. That's why as soon as I first saw you, I felt familiar with you. Yeah. I it, mean, don't get it twisted. I got an enormous heart, bro, and all yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. do is love. You know, but I can like, tell. That chip on my shoulder, bro. Like, sometimes people want to take a picture of me and, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be chopping it up with them. Like, sometimes people want to take a picture with me and it's only because they know me as a dude holding a chicken. Bitch, I don't want to take no <laughs> picture with you. I don't want to take a picture with the person that's the reason why I'm here and comfortable and chilling. Right. I want to take a picture with the reason why I got a fucking isk laid outside with lights in it and I'm fucking sitting in this stupid ass house with all these toys in there. That's who I want to talk to. Right. <laughs> hey, man, did you eat the chicken? Is that the same one where they say you ate the chicken from the picture? I ain't eating no chicken. The dog ate the chicken. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, man. Well, blame it on the dog. Can I pet that dog? He did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that he, dog? he real life did eat that chicken, though. Right. Hey, man, so now that you see that people know the name and everything is, not not everything is beautiful, but you feel like you live in your dream, bro. Yes, sir. Is there something now that you figure out, like, man, I'm really, really starting to enjoy this? What's changed? And, and I don't mean changed in like, oh, he changed. But what changed for for the better, where it's like, man, I, I enjoy this. And, I, and not only do I enjoy it, I really deserve it because I worked hard for this. Being lazy. Being able to be lazy and, like, it's okay to be lazy right, right. now. Because <laughs> yeah. sometimes people being lazy and it's like, bitch, you, can't, you, can't, you ain't got time to be lazy right now. Right. But you know what I love about your lazy? You were here 15, 20 minutes before the interview started. I mean, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good. You know, professionalism is everything. Yes, sir. And um, first impressions are everything. And, um, you know, I'm I'm here to get down and, and get busy, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to work. I don't I do not do none of that extra stuff. You hey, know? man, I see you got pops here, too. Yeah, it's my yeah. Be, one of my best what friends. What up, pops? <laughs> hey, man, I went out there. I slapped hands with pops. Pops solid like a motherfucker, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, get that, you get that out of uh, hard work, which is, uh, you know, you think you lazy. Yeah. yeah. Try lazy and procrastinating. <laughs> it's not, trust me. We're yeah. in the same boat. Yeah. Hey, do, do you know I was over 500 pounds at one point? No, but I, that's crazy. I believe it, though. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then, Bro, and the, I feel like for people that have done that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you did that by yourself, mm -hmm. but for trainers, like. Oh, no, no. I bet that shit's cool, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've seen I've seen my dad and his homeboys change people's lives. Like I've seen them come back and they're like, "Man, you got me pussy." Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, I, and I've seen hey, and I've seen a and I've seen a lady take a picture in her pant leg in her old pants yeah. and she's standing in one pant leg with room. Hey man, how long? How many years was pops away from you when you say you used to go to the prisons and you and you were wrapped to him through the glass? Uh, you know, he got locked up when I was four. Mm -hmm. He got out when I was ten. Um. Even then, he was still living in Austin trying to prove to the court that, you know, he's a good father figure and he can not take care of me. So I'm still living with my nanny. So I still really wasn't with him. You know, he would just come down every once in a while when he could. And then, uh, you know, so it was a while. It wasn't that long, though. Y'all relationship, was y'all relationship always good? Hell no. Oh, okay, yeah. No, but you know what? We're here. Yeah, man. How is how is it now? I saw Pops came out on stage with you too, man. That that's gotta they go be, everywhere with me. That's dope. Even right now, 
they was like, I think his dad is out there. And that's why as soon as I I, I locked in on Pops before I locked in on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got to be extremely proud of you. Man, right that now. motherfucker was proud of me when I came home with a seven on my report card. Aww. Easy call. You know, he's always been my number one fan. I, my whole life, he's been telling me, son, you're brilliant. You're a bad motherfucker. And, like, I'm, I was just so late to realizing it. Yeah. At like that I time, said, you I was going through all that. I was going through all that shit, you know. Then I had a homeboy that I was with every day, and that motherfucker ain't shit. Made me feel like shit every day. But I think it was because he felt like not shit. So he put that on me. You know, mm -hmm. hurt people hurt people. Yeah, man. And I think I was just surrounded by a bunch of hurt people. And Have you did therapy or anything like that? Or you no, for therapy? fucking what? <laughs> right. What are you going to tell me that I already know? Right. So I just pray about it, and I just continue to do and it. And you recognize it. Yeah. Yeah, you recognize it, I think it, recognizing it is what helped. Yeah, you recognizing it, bro. And, and plus, man, I think you're in a position now, man, where I think you see, I think you see a blessing, too, though. I think you see how... How you change other people's lives as well. Yeah, and that's what that's what make me happy. Like, bro, I be chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be like, like I'll like I'll bring my boy. Like, bro, I've never this is a prime example. I've never, ever, ever flew first class. Never. And I started bringing my boy Boomhauer with me. And as soon as he started flying with me, I'm like, man, we finna we finna get first class. You know what I'm saying? So he I, can have that experience. Because I want my boy to feel that first class shit. Man, my boy from the he from the Ville. The hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure he's seen fucking crackheads fucking and then somebody died next to him. Like, I'm sure he's seen some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, it's just, like, bro, he, this motherfucker sold from the hood. We was at our last hotel, and he just sees the lights in the parking lot with some trees around it, and he go, man, this is a view. Yeah. I said, motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. It's the parking lot <laughs> with lights and trees. Bro, what are you man, talking look about? How beautiful this is. Right here, man. <laughs> you see how God works. Hold on. You see how God works. Look at hey, you see what I'm saying? So like, you hey, know, man, like, it's lights in a parking lot to you. Yeah, yeah. but th things like that that made me happy. Yeah, man. I laughed at him, of course, you know, but like shit like that make me happy. Hey, seeing my people happy. Hey, man, and that's that's one thing, bro. When you could bring people along with you yeah. and y'all experience things together, that's when it's fun and yeah, cool. Yeah, man, and that make it different. Too. Yeah, you know, because, like, man, I used to do this shit by myself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, then I was with Greg, and then it was just me and Greg, and now it's like, you know, I, it goes, it all go back. I don't want to take a picture with a person that's just know me as a dude holding a chicken. I want to take a person that's the reason why I'm able to bring all my people with me. Yeah, man. Does and that not only am I able to bring my people with me, they know who's around me. They'll yeah. come up to me, OT, see my boy, Wicked, Big Chuck. <laughs> they know everybody in my clique. Hey man, that's gotta feel amazing to you that you that y'all experience those things together too, though. Yeah, it's a blessing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, just seeing them happy make me happy. You know, it's almost like I say it all the time, but it's real though. Like it's almost like I don't know the steps. I don't know what to do to be happy, cause uh, like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know the instructions to be yeah. happy. But I do know that making my people make me happy yeah. make me happy. Yeah, man. Like, of course, yeah, it's cool seeing them happy, but making them happy and knowing I did it, that's what. Yeah, there's a happiness in that. Yeah. My wife, right, and Jose and so many people, and we were just talking about this because it was just recently Vicente Fernandez's birthday, right? Yeah. And I always tell them, I say, man, who would have thought that a black dude in hip-hop would have introduced you to Vicente? You know what I'm saying? My wife and my in-laws and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've probably seen Chente in concert probably 50, uh, 60, 70, 100 times. That's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, but every time I would go, I would make sure I brought somebody to give them that experience. Yeah, man. And literally, to OT, I would bring people from the top yeah. and be like, oh, come come down. Yeah. Come down. You know what I'm saying? And, and introduce. So those are times, bro. When yeah, you got you got to you got to share that. Yeah, correct. You got to share it, especially with people that deserve it. Yeah, and and you know what I'm saying like my father always told me, son, I don't give a fuck if you're a failure or successful. Just be a good person. And I feel like being Character. a good person, and uh, cause you know I treat the motherfucker that's a janitor, and I treat the motherfucker that owns the building good. You yeah, know man. What I'm saying, and um, it's just all about being a good person. I was in Deville oh, about two weeks ago, and this little kid go, "Oh, tell you rich." And in my mind, I'm like, hell yeah. Right, right. But I was like, what could I teach this kid? And I said, no. He said, he was like, you rich, you bought this car, right? 
And in my mind, I'm like, hell yeah, I cash this hoe out all cash. Right. But I was like, I said, no. I said, but I treat people good and everybody love me so much. I said, you think I paid for this car? He said, yeah. I said, he gave it to me. Right. Because <laughs> he loved me so much because I treated him so good. He loved me so much. He's like, OT, here's a car. And um, I hope he walked away with that. He probably didn't, but you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> or, or down the he road. Probably, he probably like, oh, yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> no, but you, no, you gave him something. And and, and it's, it's about morals, too, bro. I always tell people that character is what's being said about you when you're not in the room. Correct. You, you know go. what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and trust me, man, like, I'm pretty sure you remember something that came from either Mom's Pops or somebody else that you held yes. differently. Correct. Even whenever they thought I wasn't listening. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just recently celebrated a birthday. What you do? No. Nothing. <laughs> Why did I know that? <laughs> I'm slow boogie, baby. I'm, man, I don't do shit. Every day my birthday at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just be chilling. I'm blessed to be here. Shit, breathing breathing, and being able to go home and, and play my Xbox and just see a beautiful house was a perfect birthday for me. It's crazy because even when you look at old videos, right? Yeah. You'll see, like, like just the, like the transformation of even just the hair, or when you start to get like more comfortable in your skin or in front of the camera, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. early on there were times, and, and and another one that 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 kill for me, bro, is your fucking bow down. Yeah, that's Jody's song, but yeah, <laughs> and and that's why when Jody right now when he try to introduce himself, I'm like Jody, come on, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you? How are you going to try to introduce yourself to me? Yeah. And and was Jody was he one of those that was a little bit. Ahead, not ahead of you in the game, but already had been uh, had already been in a little bit, mm -hmm. or did y'all come around the same time? Or yeah, well, Jody only started rapping because he was doing all this rapper shit. You know what I'm saying? What What do you mean by that? The look, like yeah, like he he was doing a lot. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He riding in the newest cars yeah. with swangers on them, fucking you know all this money. He chilling. He you know what I'm saying? All the girl, all the girls want to be with him. All the dudes want to be him. You know what I'm saying? He's just a cool ass motherfucker. He's like the Mexican Slim Thug. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what he is. Hey man, but you can see it in the car and the life and everything too, though, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And when y'all did that one too, man, and 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 shit, the September 8th, that's my birthday. Oh no, are you shitting me? No, nah, bro. Wow. Yeah, man. So it's okay. I'm actually finna circle back. I got currency getting on another one right now. Hey man, and I'm telling you, bro, like I can and this is not me because you here. Correct. I can put on anything by you. And I know that motherfucker going to slap. Man, I, I'm excited. I I'm excited for it. you to hit the new shit, you know. Bro, and, and I'm telling you, man, e even at times when, when I hear just the roll in the R, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or I hear your voice, the way that you the way that you ride a track, the way that you write. Correct. Like, I know that you were destined for this. Thank you. And you can hear it, bro. And Thank you can you. hear that you having fun and you enjoying what you're doing, even when you got to bleed on the track sometimes, too. Yeah, and, and you know what? That's why, I like, my last project, the Lone Star Luchador, I was just kind of showing off, showing range. This this new one I'm dropping March 1st. I'm dropping it March 1st with a music video of me and Moneybag, and um, it's called Texas Technician. Yeah. And this project, kind of just showing off my rap skills, like, the last one was showing off range. This one is showing off, like, hey, I'm still fucking in this rap game with y'all. Yeah, man. And then the next one that I'm working on right now, like, it's because, like, I'm so aggressive rapping, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm kind of, like, slowing it down and being player and, like, talking to the beat. I'm not, I'm not like, trying to have the beat catch up to me. And you know one thing, too, though, bro, is that what I see with you is believable. You know how when you even when you put your hat down, you're like, man, I really wear this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what I see from you is believable. Like this would be you if you didn't have a video. <laughs> you correct. know what I'm saying? Yeah, correct. This would be you if you didn't have the accolades in the music. Yeah, correct. Hey man, and you know what's crazy, man? Even with point them out, I didn't know that was coming, but I heard it coming. Mm -hmm. By by with you and the baby. Yeah. I heard I, I heard it coming. And then when that came, I was like, man, these mo. Man, that ain't shit, bro. I need you to listen to this new shit, man. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see. Because, like, that song, you know, like, it don't get it twisted. It's definitely done what it's done. It's right. definitely a good record. I personally feel like I enjoyed making it. It just get better, you know. And you know one thing that's good about you, too, bro, is that you don't need the feature. Hell nah, because I can come from so many different directions. I can kill the part you were already going to do. Mm-hmm. 
You know what are I'm you saying? are you careful with who you get on who you get in the booth with or who you get on the song with? Yes. Is there not any- even careful, but just almost like I just like I said earlier, I don't want to fuck with nobody. I don't want to be your fucking friend. You know what I'm saying? Like the people I like is who I like, and I re- I laugh at rappers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I laugh at rappers because like, bitch, you're a rapper, ho. You know, oh, you're a no, rapper. Oh, you've been cursing all this yeah. time. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, you you gonna stop at ho now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he done <laughs> threw in fuck motherfucker, bitch. I'm sorry. Dick. dick. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Kill him. Them man, fuck them, p- them boys. I fuck with them pink ones. Yeah. yeah. Boy, he got to ho. He was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a slave in the night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You good, brother. We conversating, brother. We ain't interviewing. <laughs> yeah. We you, talking. I thank you, man. Easy call. But, um, what was I saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. What was he saying? He laughs at rappers. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I yeah. Let, like, thank you, I, yeah, thank you. I let, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, like, man, they all be on drugs, and you know what I'm saying? And then, like, you know, because drug is a drug, and then fame is a drug. Oh, yeah. So when you're on both of these drugs, you are you definitely not acting like yourself. And then I see them all tweaked out, leaning, mouth wide open, drooling and shit, and they think they're going to kill me. They think they're a killer. Mm. Bitch, I will handle you right, right. now. <laughs> I'll fuck you till you, I'll make you say you love me all night. I promise you. Mm, Mike Tyson. Promise you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, oh, I don't know how to take that one, OT. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but like, like, that's why I laugh at him, though, bro. Like, man, y'all are crazy. Hey, man, Nas Rewind. Oh, my. Oh. I'm in love with it. I mean, like, that's crazy you even brought that one up. Hey, bro. I remember when my dad showed me that. Pops. Hey, bro. That by far to me is and, and people Cause it's are, already, people it's already the, hard telling the story. You telling it backwards. My man says she spit the come back in my, my dick. dick. Yeah, the blood go back in the cigar. <laughs> yeah. The weed go back in the jar. Oh my god, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, that to me is for me is the best Nas song. Yeah, and I literally. Was listening to that song a couple days ago. I know exactly where I was at backing out the driveway. Sick. Hey, Amen. And like you say, it's hard enough. To tell us. It's hard enough to rhyme, then tell a story. Now you're telling the story backwards and rhyming. Hey, Amen. And if y'all don't know uh-huh. it, please, please treat yourself to that. Please. And no matter how many times you listen to it, I still say, hold on. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was right. That, yep, was right. that was right. That was right. Uh yep. pl- saying, uh, shoot, don't please. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, had you always been a child of hip hop like that? Cause you know how yeah, when you that's say what Nas. I, that's what I found out about. Like, bro, 50, Big L, and Buster Rhymes are like the p- pioneers of Mexican OT. You know? And those right there do. And when you say pioneers of Mexican OT, that is also pioneers in lyricism. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. And bro, I and, know. And not even to check. Hey, when co- I met Buster, right? I'm sorry. I don't no, mean please to cut do. you up. Easy call. I, I met Buster and uh, and I was like, bro, you was on fucking Boondocks. You was on Def Jam 5 for New York. Like, you're still the same dude that I was watching as a kid, Ram a Ram. Yeah, hey, bro. And he goes, full in care. He didn't even say nothing. He goes, you want to rhyme with me? Hmm. <laughs> I was like, yo, you're Did you crazy. rhyme with him? Huh? Did you rhyme with him? No, I fucking <laughs> never <laughs> Hey, man, let me he tell you. He would have shit on me. I knew Busta Rhymes before I got into radio. Wow. Yeah, I used to uh, bodyguard. I also feel like he had some crazy dreads. Yeah, I used to bodyguard a group called The Far Side. Sick. And when I was bodyguarding The Far Side, Busta Rhymes, when he was with L.O.N.S., with Leaders of the New School. Yes, yes, yes. Man, he just, he, when we went to New York, he really looked out for brothers from L.A. in New York. That's cool. Yeah, you and can tell he, he, he he's always, Southern hospitality and he, and he from over there. And he wanted them, man, he embraced hard, he yeah. loved hard. Yeah. And when it come to his crap, and the same way when you said Big L, I'm like, man, Big L don't come out of a lot of people's mouths, bro. Bro, and mm-hmm. that and that the baby track, I, my, my opening fucking verse, uh, opening bars in the verse was, I'm striking men, like striking lightning, you seen what happened. And then my last fight friend will hate them. Amen. And that right there show me that you're also a child of it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know, and the same way I you, told you my daughter is studying you. That's how I was them. Bro, I had a Mexican from Mexico with no green card show me who Big L was. Yeah. Mexican from Mexico with no green card. And Big L hit him. Yeah. Like he knew it. Yeah. Hey, man, did you have any other influence? And, and, and you got to think, man, when we just think about Texas. Uh, ghetto Boys. 
Ghetto Boys, we gotta put them in there. Pimp C, of course, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Chameleon there, yeah, Paul man. Wallachan, you Y'all, know what I'm saying? Oh. I feel like Paul, Chameleon there, and Zero mm. were like the ones that was really like putting that shit together. Scarface had a voice, he's an amazing storyteller, but his delivery wasn't, it, it wasn't up tempo like Chameleon there and Paul Wall and you know, and zero. Like to me, they're them three right there, they the ones that's really holding it down with hey, this man, rap shit. Faces like Slim one Thug and all them, like they kind of just make it look cool and sound cool. And I'm not downing it because like, bro, all. that's Slim Thug. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But like they made it look cool and sound cool. They swagged it. Zero, millionaire, and wall was really rapping. Like really rapping. Hey man, so you a fan of Paul Wall first. Yes. What does that feel like now? It's being not. It's a, not even here. Uh, and working with, with if, Paul. Wall. It feel amazing because he's my hero's heroes. So being, right. able, you know, what I'm saying, being able to come back, it's like, man, Theo, I got the lion's head. You know what I'm saying? They threw me in the jungle. And I came back with a mink and a lion. Head. <laughs> hey, man, and Paul Wall been one of those dudes for me, a one since day one. Just beautiful spirit, bro. Like you could tell, he's an amazing human being, yeah. bro. He makes like, me want to lead I, I was, move to Texas. Yeah, man, I, <laughs> hey, this dude's yeah. so nice and just so welcoming and loving. Like I was smoking with him, and he's next in rotation. I handed to him. He goes, "Thank you." Yeah, man. I said, "Thank you." You next in rotation. What do you mean? You <laughs> It, it's how it go to you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, but, but yeah, when you talk about that Southern hospitality, Paul Wall, man, it bleeds out of him, bro. Yeah. It ble- Did you ever feel like there was there's so much coming out of Texas, too? Did you ever feel that that was a pressure uh, to come, not to come a certain way, but like, man, there's a lot on the map? No. No. Nah, not living up to and. Because I just, I already knew how hard I was. Mm-hmm. It was just only a matter of time the world hearing it. How did you know that though? I just, I th- I think God just put it in me without me even knowing. Amen. Because like I said, I walked into everything. Like I I didn't I didn't have that confidence as a youngin. Mm-hmm. So like all this confidence in my stilo and who I am, it I just walked into it. Hey Amen. You know how there's sometimes when you just know what you can't do. Mm-hmm. And then you know what you can do. I don't think there's anything I can't do. But you knew that you could. Correct. Without knowing, though. Right. Oh, okay. Like, I knew, but I didn't know. It's weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I just, I, it's like, it's like I had, it's like my faith is what kept me walking. Mm-hmm. But I, I just didn't Did know. Did you know where you were walking? No. Yeah. Easy call. No. Easy call. I'll and just... we discussed that more when we shooting that wild boar mm-hmm. from the helicopter. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's going to be easy. I'll get you up there. I say up. Man, uh, Shout out my boy Ashcraft. We're going hey. to get you in there. Ashcraft going to fly that helicopter so smooth. <gasps> Wait, hold on, homie. Your homie's flying a helicopter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Hey, listen. Hey, you don't want to do nothing just on the ground? He's been doing this shit since he was 14 years old, bro. Like, he ride this motherfucker so well now, eventually when you in there riding it, your body just going to, like, anticipate the movement. And, like, you just, it feels it feels like a video game, bro. Like, it, like you're just going to start, like, flowing with the helicopter. Like, mm. he, he rides How many there. times have you went up with him? Plenty of times. Over 10? Mm, I probably did, you know, damn near 10. Okay. Yeah, let me know when you get to, like, 38. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. But he man. but he do this all the time. Like yeah, he takes yeah, celebrities. Call. You know what I'm saying? Like at first he uh he was just doing it because he was working at a I think I don't know what he was doing. I might be wrong, but I want to say grass farm because my uncle Joe had a grass farm. He was doing something with helicopters and he just always been around them. You know what I'm saying? And then eventually he started making it a business. Mm. And then he started taking celebrities, you know what I'm saying? So like, man, he's him himself has done well over 38 trips. Easy call. Hey man, and not no no end in sight. But what do you want to do? Uh, not other than, but when do you say like not not hang my hat up? But like man, I'm I'm just going. This is what I want to do. I'm 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 doing this to do this. If there's anything, nothing. You are doing this to do nothing, mm-hmm. to chill. Yeah, I heard. That. I'm th- I'm doing this because I don't know what the fuck else, I don't know what else to do. You can't cook. I can't cook, can't right. clean. I got zero <laughs> patience. I'm not getting up at five in the morning right. to go swing no hammer. But for somebody else. But hey man, do you ever feel like, man, this is hard doing this for me? Yes. <laughs> like, yes, bro. People, people be thinking being a rapper is easy. Right. It's not, bro. Cause it's it you gotta do this. Yeah. What and, me and you are doing right and now. And especially when you are microphone one and it is you. And and no disrespect, the homies could be there. 
But you got to come in. You got to do the mm-hmm. interview. You got to do the songs. But that, yeah, correct. And, you know, I just want to shout out my boys real quick. Please my, do. My, my men, my gentlemen, it, I have a beautiful team because not only does everybody put their effort in and they go above and beyond, but they understand their positions. Mm-hmm. They don't give a fuck if they're holding the door open for me or if they're counting 20000 for me. They understand that their position is just as important. Yes, sir. Because if you don't hold that door open for me, I'm going to walk, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to walk. Like, it can be anything. It could be the littlest thing. Somebody yeah. holding the door open for me and not walking the way I'm looking. They're like, who is that guy? Hey, bro. He just had this crazy introduction. Somebody held the door open for him and he looking like this. Whether I just open the door myself and walk in, I'm an average Joe, right? right. Like, it's just little Everybody things. Everybody play like, their position. It's just little and things And that's like what I that. tell people too, man. If you open up your car, your hood, Everything in that engine make that car run. Everything. It's one little piece that I can unplug. And, it'll and shut it's it going to shut down. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And it'll shut down, bro. So everybody plays a position under that yes. hood, bro. But, the, but everybody can play their position and eventually get lost. Mm. My gentlemen understand. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they know what they know that I'm the bag. And they, under, they understand that. It's not a selfish thing. Right. They just understand how this fucking boat is being rolled. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Don't touch them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, though. Yeah. Walk around and take the jacket off. For real. They want them boots to get like, wet. Like, bro, a lot of them are depending on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of them are depending on hey, me. Hey, man, that's what I say, too, man. There's a lot of people that you, I, you, that we wake up for. Yes. And, and not needy, not this, not that. No, you know what I'm saying? But no. yeah. Like, yeah, but like, man. But like, bro, like my boy Nate, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Nate. He had a job, was doing good was comfortable, you know what I'm saying, he's making his living. He gave up everything to jump on this road with me, not knowing if it was fully for sure wow. going to work. People used to laugh at him and be like, bro, you really think he going to, like, you really think? There's another dude, he's a rapper out there, and, and his brother would be like, Nate, you really think he harder than my brother? And he'd be like, man, I don't know, he hard. I don't know, but he hard. And they'd be like, Nate, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would Damn. laugh at him. Yeah. Man, and I'm, one day I when when I remember because me and my boy Nate we stopped talking for about a year and a half, but because after he quit the job, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, this, this was this was this was like we was all hanging out, we was all like getting into trouble, and then everybody just stopped hanging out for like a year and a half. And I tried to link with everybody, and like you ever just stopped hanging out with somebody and got back with them, it's like man, I still love you, but it ain't like how it yeah, was, you know, it ain't what it was. Yep. Nate came in my apartment, and literally we picked up right where we left. Like, like boom, like put, the got, pause the, button, got the bookmark, and just took it out and kept reading. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And and I told him, I said, Nate, one day, bro, one day this, and one day that, and one day we were somewhere, and I'm looking at this beautiful place, and now we just got off the show. I just performed in front of like four thousand people. I said, Nate, remember when I was in my living room and I was talking to you about it and I was like, oh, this and that? I said, this is what the fuck I was talking about. And he was just like, man, I was like, I love you, Nate. Hey, Amen. And then, but looking at it through the years, man, it wasn't like easy. So it nah, had, yeah, man, man, I used to want to give up. Yeah. I, I used to cry going to bed like, man, it's not working. It's not working. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. like, of course, nobody knew that, but, but that's because I'm here alone. Yeah, man. Nobody up here with me. So, I, you know, I went through that alone, but we're here. Yeah, hell yeah, you here. And my team make it easy. My team make it feel like I'm home everywhere. Yeah. So, like, because I don't want to. I get homesick going to the corner store. <laughs> you know Teamwork make the dream work. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You know, so my, my I get I get to bring home with me everywhere. No kids like, right now? When, like, nah, but, like, when you were, like, you know what I'm saying, damn, you ain't leave nobody in Texas? No. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I walked out. I walked out. Hey, man, and, and you didn't even catch me. One of your homies I slapped hands with twice. Because <laughs> I was just in a circle like, hey, what's happening, man? What's happening, man? What's happening? Came back, circle. <laughs> and, and, and he probably in there listening right now like, yeah, Big did slap my hand twice. <laughs> He's, I don't know if it's like, it, it's, I don't know if it's beige or peach, but I definitely slapped his hand twice. Oh, oh, oh sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, yeah. I was looking under the couch. Didn't you say I was under the yeah, couch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Are you? <laughs> but no, man, and, and you got to keep a good squad with you that's worthy of it. Yeah, always, yeah, man. man. I make sure, you know what I'm saying? My my gentlemen, they always, they like, they're valuable, bro, and they always revalue why Are you having here. fun? Yes. Yeah, man. It that's, look but like that's, it. But that's why that's why everything's so great, because I don't have boundaries. I don't have a limit. I don't have an ego. I don't have anything, because all of this is just pure funness. You and know? no kids, you get up and go. Get up and go. Even if I do have a kid, when I do have my kid, get your ass up, you coming with me. Yeah, I heard that. Damn. Yeah. I'm excited to have I'm kids. living through you, too, though. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So do do everything because I have two beautiful kids. I have a beautiful wife. But yeah, please do everything for us that don't do everything. Correct. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When was the last time you had VD? VD? Yeah, like an STD or something. It's been, I don't, it's been a little minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you do. You do on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You do on that. You uh, do on that. Go, go get that, man. Uh, threesome, foursome, fivesome. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, bro. I feel like it's like it's a lot of work, huh? You like be, I'm lazy, big. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, you put extra work on me. Come on. You're like that's why you're not in the crew. One, one, <laughs> one, one a day. One a day. Yeah. <laughs> like, can I just break it down? Like, yeah. like good lord, I told you I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you hear the story when I said my grandma woke me up? I was only asleep for thirty minutes. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still running off that thirty. <laughs> yeah. And I see you doing Rolling Loud as well, man. I'm a little intimidated by Rolling Loud. Why so? Uh, just because, you know what I'm saying, like it's California, I'm a Texan, and uh, I just feel like, I don't know though, because like uh, my L.A. show, I had a show in the Bay, they definitely surprised me. Yeah, bro. Like they fucked me up, like they they showed out. Like I had like 80 people for the meet and greet, the show was like thousands of people, so like, and maybe See, I'm just you don't know. Again. Yeah, yeah. Don't, you yeah. in here, you in your own way, bro, but I'm telling you, man, yeah. people really Fuck with you. Yeah, and you know what I've also realized? And like, I've been I've, waiting on this, and I know everybody. Thank you, bro. Easy call. Thank you, bro. And and I've realized that, like, I, um, a lot of the podcasts, they're just messy, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They make it they make it seem like like they, they just want to see Cali and Texas at each other's neck so bad. So, like, for the longest, I'd be like, man, those vatos don't like me. I'm not Mexican enough for them. Right. And I get here, and they're like, bro, we love you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, them them bros ain't shit. Them media people. You hey, know what man, saying? but you know what, though? that That's the clickbait era that we're yeah, in right now, yeah, too, bro. Yeah, it's that clickbait. Hey, man, do you ever, uh, do you, I don't know if you ever seen the thing called um, Delirious with Eddie Murphy when the, he said the dude told him, you better not go to Texas. They uh -uh. fucked you up. Because uh -uh. he said they were all racist. And so he said when he got <laughs> off the plane, a white dude came up and said, excuse me, sir, is that your bag? He said, yeah, that's my goddamn bag. <laughs> Why, motherfucker, a black man can't have a suitcase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same way you felt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Without knowing that people rock with you the way they're like, oh, man, they ain't, they ain't rocking with me. Then you yeah. get here, it's like, nah, bro, we rock with you. That's prime we example. Def we definitely fuck with you, yeah, man. Prime example. Believe that, man. Do you still have the Matter Daddy that I saw in the video? Mm. Matter Daddy? Yeah, the Matter Daddy What's from it? the video. Matter Daddy? Yeah. What is that? What? What? I s do you still have the Matter Daddy from the video? What is a Matter Daddy? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. What's the matter with you? Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Please, man. Please. Use that at Rolling Loud to wake up the crowd. You know yeah, what I'm saying? When I you get out you. there. you like, anybody got a Matter Daddy? Hey. Hey. Daddy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm nothing. Yeah, yeah, and then go into it. I got a joke. You want to hear it? What's the difference between oral sex and anal sex? He's asking you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he wants you to say? I don't know. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oral sex. Okay, I'm different. Oh, okay. Oral sex will make you a whole day, but anal sex will make you a whole week. <laughs> Hey, man, you know what I thought he was going to say? No. What's the difference between oral sex and anal sex? No. I thought he wanted me to say, what's the difference? Oh. <laughs> you get it, though, right? Yeah, I get it. Explain it to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let me ask you this. Oh, if a dog in a pie cost had a race, oh. being from Texas. If a dog? If a dog in a pie cost had a race, a which one would win? A pie? If no, if if a dog and a pie cost. A pie cost. Yeah. Okay. Which one would win? I don't think I know what a pie cost is. About nine bucks. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Do you know what this is? Yes. Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> who, who cousin? I know, man. <laughs> I forgot who I was. I forgot who I was with, but my homeboy, he was I think it was, I forgot who it was. Hey with. man, once you find out, you know. Yeah. Honestly, that thing don't work on me, bro. I might be broken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I tried it. I put it in tea under my tongue. All hey, nah, bro. I'm talking about I took two to the face. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. And you said it didn't work on you might be broken. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, but when people see this, they know exactly what it is. That yeah. should give you a headache. None of you work. Don't Boom, get it. Boom, that's what people said. They said the next day. 
Don't get you it. You just had a stash of these over Hey, like next day, you wake up hard as hell with a boner. <laughs> right. And no female around you. Yeah. Hard, <laughs> hard, hard as hell with a boner and a headache. Yeah. And she done left. You know yeah. Right? And she done left. You can come back. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. Like, yeah. And while you're on your way, bring me uh, some rubbers and some Tylenol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skip it, 25% less fat. Oh, what are you doing? Reduce fat. Hey, man, let me tell you which one I like. You saying I got a lot of ass or what, man? <laughs> no. Hey, man, I like the one with the, with the, uh, the orange top with the honey. Orange and you got that with, it's the Jif, it's Jiffy, though. Are you still talking about those packs? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, brother. That's a glass. If you watch the glass, oh, come oh. on, man. Oh. That's glass. That's some milk right there, brother. Yeah, Please. Yeah. Is that know. glass clean, clean? Can you yeah. drink? Can y'all drink milk with like that or anything that's not glass? Hey, man, he said he well, can't. Oh, you're talking you about can't, like, right? like yeah, growing no, up. It, well, I could if I have to, but it's nah. way better with the glass. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> so when so you order milk, it got to be in a glass? It got to be in a glass. That shit is crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like drinking Coca-Cola out of can. Why you drink You got to drink it out of a glass mm -hmm. bottle. What? That one I do know. No, I like the can. Right. <laughs> what? No, it tastes so good uh, in the glass. Cut off. Mm. Yeah. Me? Okay, like you try it. Wait, with in a glass? glass? Yeah, because his dad said it's better yeah, too. Yeah. I love spaghetti with Coke it a in a glass cup. Mm. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I seen, a, I seen somebody drink some milk with pizza, and I was like, bro. Oh, it's fucking gross. Oh, they, they that doing, shit, they, they give you in the prison. Gut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll give you bubble guts for sure. They doing a the double whammy yeah. like shit. Hey, last night, bro. That's first of all, hey, I just want to like congratulate y'all and like thank you. For having good toilet paper here. <laughs> for real. Hey, I went to hey, listen, I went to the airport one time. We messing with billion dollar companies. You telling me y'all can't afford no good toilet paper? Hey, this is when I first started flying. I went in there to go take a boo-boo and I went in there and I went to wipe my ass down there and fingered myself, bro. I was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, Man, I was yeah, hot, you gotta bro. know your toilet paper brand too. Yeah, yeah. hot, bro. I'm a two ply quick. And then last night, bro, we went to go get tacos. I ordered two of everything. Then we went to Vaughn's. I got like I bro, I got a cake from the bakery. Yes, sir. Got a cake, cheese and crackers, milk and cereal. Got some cookies. Uh, <laughs> went, hey, I ate everything. Anything was, was you your, could think of that don't go there? together. Yes, he was eating with me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anything that don't go together went together last night. As it should. And bro. I woke up and I was like, Whoa. And you know what that is? That's success. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they call that shit success. Hell yeah. Hey, I would love to about... see your motherfucking rider contract. They like, man, Cheerios. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm butter. sitting here walking in the drive the parking lot and I'm looking at Nate and Nate's like, you look like shit. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, I feel like that's it. when you gotta slow up, like, man, am I, mm -hmm. do I need to clutch? Hey, my I ass walk in here. Hey, I'm, I'm talking about like squeezing a penny between those two motherfuckers. <laughs> hey. I come in here and I look at the security lady. I said, man, y'all got a toilet bowl? She goes, Yes. I said, <laughs> Yes. I go, where? She goes, and she just ignores me. And I was like, ma'am, I need a restroom. Uh, yeah. She was like, oh, a restroom. And she pointed at me. I was like, you don't know what a toilet bowl is? Right. <laughs> what would you think a toilet bowl is? You got a toilet bowl, ma'am? Yeah. She was like, yes. And just walked <laughs> off. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> hey, man, I love how she answered the question, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, yes, we do. Yes. Is a frog ass <laughs> water type? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask her something on the way out just so she tell me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, Does it bear shit in the wood? Yes. 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 You know, where can I get pizza from? I'm going to tell her, have a good day, lady. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nah, she was cool as fuck, though. And then the brother next to her, he cool as a motherfucker, too. Yeah. He's like a Haitian philosopher. Oh, wow. that's homeboy I saw talking out there? Oh, man. Hey, I'm bro. talking about he was going. I, hey, I hey was when like, he start, you can't stop You can't. I already, <laughs> hey, I feel that vibe from him all the way. Because homegirl, she's like grabbing the door. Hey, man, was, she wearing, the, opening was it. she wearing the zany zappers? With the suit. <laughs> with the suit. But she wasn't wearing the, 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 the dark glasses, though, huh? No, I don't man, think so. Man, she got uh, some dark glasses. Yeah. Look like she ready to do uh, that shit, bro. Look like Terry Crews. Uh, yeah. Up white shit. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, you gotta love her, man. Hey, that white shit funny. Yeah, yeah, man. He said, what happened to the slide? Hey, man, but we getting up. They getting hit Terry hard Crew, now, yeah. bro. Beyonce, Texas, a country album. What do you feel about that? It's a cool thing. Yeah. And she from Texas. She ain't ever done it. Right. Why now? Uh-oh. Why not? I'm excited to see what she does. Right. Why not now? Huh? Why not now, though? 
Might as well. Yeah. Because you're doing an opera album, I heard. Mm-mm, That's what the lady in the front told me. <laughs> the, the, the yes, lady. Yeah. Because I asked, her, I said, "Is he doing an opera?" She I thought yes. we, I thought we just discussed this. <laughs> I, I, I said, is, "Is that Mexican OT doing an opera?" Album? She said, "Yes, yes, <laughs> yes." <laughs> Hey man, and you uh, should have saw him like, is, is he here with his dad? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Man. I said, man, I never met his son. Is he here with his son? She said, like, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I found out you don't have no kids. I said, yeah. you don't have kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> there it is, man. <laughs> <laughs>